Hi, welcome to the first episode of the E34 wagon. Since we bought it, we got it running. Um, we got the wagon home and it needs a battery and a fuel pump. Whatever. So, um, <laughs> so on the old tank, this thing was completely, or I'm sorry, on the old uh, pump, this thing was completely annihilated. Right, this needs to go in first, but can you hold this up for me? Yeah. Hey, that's not a like... Let me put my shit POV, you have four arms, bro. So <laughs> stop POV. Yeah, hey, get the fuck off me, bro. Stop putting nuts on, little boy. Get the shit off me, bro. I know there's gonna be Bro, yeah, get, get the fuck lines, off of me so I can fucking get off, <laughs> bro. Be... Bro, get the fuck <laughs> off me. Bro. Um, but it was overheating. So, uh, we replaced... We replaced the, um, valve cover gasket. Wait, you ask if we can record first. Don't be so freaking. <laughs> Everything here is seated properly, and then you're gonna need silicone for right here and here. I think I have some some gasket maker at home. Now. All right, so I'm back home. I went to we have shop in O'Reilly's. We have a valve cover gasket, fuel additive, silicone for the uh, valve cover gasket, oil filter, brake fluid, oil coolant. Um, let's get this bitch maintenance to did. Alright, now to take this uh, valve cover on. How the f- But it will work. Oh shit. Damn, it's bright. What's yeah. up, guys? What's going on today? Uh, so, in this wagon, we uh, went to do a valve cover gasket. Oh, we put new hood struts in it so it doesn't Ooh. decapitate us. Is that a good uh, upgrade, first upgrade? Yo, shout out. Makes it more workable. I shout out stash cam. Good first upgrade. Right, so come around to this side. Okay, coming, sir. So, uh, we cracked open the uh, top of the head. Uh huh. Was this a hard job or an easy job? I stripped the bolt, so we'll, I'll say it was a pretty shitty you know, process. Once we put the valve cover back on, obviously you don't want to do this with no valve cover on. We're going to spray out these spark plug tubes, get all the dirt, grime, and must out of them. Um, and uh, yeah, so we can change the spark plugs because it's running like dookie. How do I look? You look good, bro. You look right. cute. Yeah, thank you, yeah. bro. All right, so we got the uh, old filter out. Really crummy. I think we got a video picture of it. I think it's in here. Anyways, so today <laughs> we're going to be putting in another, a new filter, obviously, right here. Just go ahead and uh, slap that little bitch in there. Boom. Animal. Nice. It's just going to sit around, right? Little hat here. There's a seal. Go ahead and take that out. There's usually a new seal in all of your um, oil filters and then just freaking undo that take it out put the new one in all right take some of that older oil no big deal lube it up always make sure you lube up your rubber seals that rubber <laughs> lubricated less friction for us you know goes in easier and smooth nice and smooth all right now we're going to take our little bolt for the obd1 cars this is how it's done for obd2 cars it's going to be a uh, plastic housings anyways plastic housings kind of suck you're just going to want to find the hole you know, stick it in the hole, nice. Get in there, <laughs> tighten her down, right? There should be a little bit of play in there. Tighten the rest of the way down, that's pretty much it. I just go until tight. Usually on the plastic filters, it's 25 uh, Newton meters of force, but here, just go until it's tight. You know, it's a rubber seal and it's just a bolt. You don't want to snap anything. You don't want to take your chances. It just, it feels good. All right, cool. So now our new filter's in. When we start the car, it'll fill up and uh, we'll be good. Some people like to fill up their oil filters. I don't really do that. I think it's fine. So big thing for that, new filter, new seal, and also to lubricate that seal. You don't want to tear it. If you tear it, you're going to get leaks and leaks are no good. Here, we have the spark plug 
holes, tubes, things, gaskets. This protects oil from getting into your spark plug tubes, right? They're nice and flimsy, unlike the other ones that you're probably taking off. They're not so flimsy. So we're gonna keep those to the side. Those go in the valve cover. This is our valve cover gasket. And this is gonna go on the studs on your valve cover. Let's see right? it. So it guides pretty easily. Here though, we have this rubber piece, these two circles, these indentations. We're gonna use some silicone on the valve cover to help seal here. Cause this is kind of a difficult seal. Just this is really, you know, just a weird, what's the word? Transition from flat to curvy. <laughs> You know, we like curvy though. Curvy's nice, but Kirby's you know, you gotta, nice, yeah. you gotta, you can't just have, you know, it can't just go from skinny to curvy, you know? You need to put a little thickness in between there, right? Because love handles, bro. Munzer's got love handles. Well, I love his love handles. Oh my. That's so hard to squeeze. Ah. All right, dope. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. Put a little bit of gasket maker right there on the curve, just for that transition to smoothen it out. Studs to guide you, right? So don't be scared. There's gonna be studs, so we can take this gasket and my bad, get it over all the studs and push these curves in and let them grab a hold of that silicone. Dope, dope, dope. Cool, so now you've put a gasket on. And all you gotta do is put the valve cover on. Put it back down, follow your guides, and there you go. You got a valve cover on. It's really easy. Like, literally anybody can do this shit. Just watch anybody's video. If you're sitting on your ass complaining you can't do anything about cars, that's your fault. This shit's so easy, dude. I didn't even go to school for this. YouTube mechanic right here. Self-proclaimed mechanic right here, right above my head. Put it right here. You see that? I'm not good at this. All right, so... Obviously the valve cover's on, and these are in my hands right now. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> so these, these are, the, this is gonna come back off. You don't have to do everything over again, but this is gonna come, I don't have to do everything over again. <laughs> this is gonna come back off, these have to go back on. Anyways, we're gonna cut back to tightening bolts. So this is what those should look like. Oh, easy, man. It's not a, you know, you make a couple mistakes here and there, no big deal. All right, so we're putting washers on. Yeah, these are little rubber sealing washers. So now every single one of these little holes that got a rubber grommet is gonna get a washer and a nut. Here we go. We got my little brother Munzer right here. This is his car. He wants to get his hands dirty. Professional noob, put that right here. There we go, professional, professional noob. noob. So what's the plan here? We got all the bolts, all the washers, all the rubber grommets, the seal is on, the valve cover is on, and now we need to tighten it down. Well, you don't want to just tighten it down or else it might not seal properly. So we're going to do kind of a star pattern like you would do on wheels. But we're going to start here, go here, go here, go here, and just cross. So like it evenly presses it down. Go down to that one, but you can't get a straight shot at it, so use this. You're so needy, bro. Me? I'm so needy. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we got a spark plug socket, extension, ratchet, yada yada yada. I already got this one out. So here we have our cylinder two spark plug. After blowing them out, obviously take them out. Do not take out your spark plugs and then blow the holes out. You've already let everything get into the cylinders. Anyways, so this brown dark ring just means that they were due. They've been used a lot. This right here is dark, dark. Looks like oil fouling. You can't really see any more white. So now, new spark plugs going in. A little bit of anti-seize on there. Helps it from bonding, but you any don't know tips which... on uh, putting these in so you don't, you know, break the porcelain part or oh. it's like porcelain, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do smash these, you can throw them at windows and <laughs> they don't break really easily. Um, tips, don't mishandle them. You know, keep them in their boxes. If you get some that aren't in a box, that's sus. Don't use them. I recommend checking out your spark plugs just to see what's going on inside your engine. Oh, God damn, bro. You see these lights? Look at this quality right here. Look at this quality. We got light right there. Light behind you. Boom. I spent a rack not too long ago on this special tool right here. 
specifically made for BMW oil because we burn a lot of it. So we are going to baptize this thing. Shit. That's stupid hard. All right, and we're gonna put shitty oil in it, obviously. We're gonna put 20W50 in it, just to cycle it through. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Everybody grab a bottle. Hey. Open her up. Monster, you have to toast, you idiot. T34s and hopefully a good time. All right, let's go. Ooh. Oh. All right, so I got a little tune up. Munzer, go ahead, bro. Like, oh, it doesn't sound bad. I mean, it's still got a ton of work. It's got a ton of work that we need to do still. And like, I'm not really happy with it. We still have to do coolant, brakes. How you feeling though? I'm so excited. No, it was good. Uh, that was cringy as fuck, <laughs> dude. What the, what the fuck? That was cringy as hell, bro. Nice. Don't do that. <laughs> It's Don't do that, bro. Get away from me, bro. <laughs> Don't do that shit, bro. Hey, 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 hey. This dude weird. Are we gonna go? To, are we gonna go to Taco Bell right now or what? Yeah. We uh, tried to run it. Uh, I bled the brakes, and then one of the coolant lines blew off of the thermostat housing. All right, so I got the um, fan shroud and radiator out. Okay. And this fucking pulley thing is, do I just yank it off? Did you take the bolt off? Yeah, it's just really on there. Yeah. Can I hammer it or is that not a good idea? I mean, I assume so. That, that's just like what the fan is connected to, right? Are you recording me saying that? Do they have made like a grip on this damn wrench, dude? Taking a break. Alright, we're back with more E34 stuff. This car has proven to be extremely annoying, and I hate this car right now. So, I'm gonna get back to finishing this. And uh... okay, so please excuse the mess, right? This job has been very tedious, long, and annoying. But we are. God damn it. We are replacing this water pump with this new to me water pump. This was the one I was gonna put in my motor. All right, cool. We are replacing this thermostat housing. Completely destroyed, super shot. And this thermostat, super shot with this also new to me. I've gone ahead and sanded down the edges here. All right, so I've oiled this seal and these do go on a certain way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Okay, doesn't fit. Flip her around. Dope, fits. Boring job. All right, so these are 10 millimeter. Make sure everything goes on nice, so. Okay, so that's now in. This is just an OE thermostat. Sit right in there. <laughs> Through and be, uh, you know, a good car because right now. I want to go do other stuff, and this car is being a pain in the ass. So, we're just going to figure that out. It's really hot, bro, so be careful. Oh, stop. Stop it, please, Reeves. What? <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs>